Wild Willow Farms' main focus is to create the best soil, and that's what they consider black gold. I wanted to really showcase the soil and these potatoes together to honor the farm and the potato. I heard of this old world technique from Mexico where you actually bake these potatoes in its own soil. The smoke just filtered through, so you're like wood smoking slash roasting. It's pretty remarkable. Being a part of this produce movement down there, we have a variety of probably like 80 different things growing at once and I get to see produce from a seedling all the way through the normal maturity, through blossoming as flowers. And so I'm exposed to all these different little overgrowths that you can't get from a produce company or anywhere unless you're actually doing it yourself. The local foraging around the farm itself is pretty incredible. Foraging is something that I do just because it feels like the most human approach to cooking, period. This is time I take out of my day every day because it makes me feel good. And there's no closer feeling to food than when you're actually foraging something. Oyster mushrooms to sea lettuce, wood sorrel, and then the blossoms. We're surrounded every day by things that are edible and delicious. My dishes normally compose of things that are there right now on the farm. For garnishing, we have forged blossoms, arugula blossoms, fennel fronds, we have pickled loquwa, kimchi, A5 satsuma wagyu. Doesn't need a big show around it. We don't want to ever compromise the integrity of the main thing on the dish, which is the wagyu. Once we pulled all the potatoes and soil out, we dug up this giant rock, wiped it with a wet towel, and then we laid the Wagyu rib cap slices right on there, and it literally just started to melt the fat. I mean, it was amazing. All I wanted to do was basically melt the fat because we want to eat it raw, pretty much. So really the rest of the dish is what's now, what, what's at the farm at this moment, what's relevant and how can we complement this amazing fat profile from this meat. It doesn't always have to have a, a rhythm or a rhyme to it, it can just create itself and we just want it to be true and true to the farm and, and true to the moment really.